I expect that I will probably do more videos covering this topic later on, but I wanted to introduce a, an, an idea, a, a concept that I've, I've really been thinking a lot about, and that is how much blame should we place on government employees for the things they do? And the reason I, I ask this is I think about the different levels and I think about what would be a, a useful thing to do in a free society. If we lived in a truly free society, uh, we'll, we'll take something like a, a public school, a government school janitor. Would children go to buildings to learn things? And, and boy, oh boy, believe me, I know that that's not what public schools are for. Most schools are not for that. But I do think that you can go into a building where there's someone who teaches valuable information and you can gain valuable information from it. So um, please know that I'm not – I understand John Taylor Gatto's wonderful work. Anyway, is it wrong to be a government school janitor? Is it as wrong as being a drug enforcement agent? And if there are these different levels of what is and isn't okay, how do we decide that? So if the job would exist anyway in the free market, like a school janitor, then it seems to me that that would be more acceptable than if you worked a job that wouldn't exist in a free market. And maybe that would be a, a marijuana smuggling cop, a cop who, who figures out how to stop the smugglers. Um, now, now, there would certainly be people in the drug enforcement, drug detection industry in a free society. I know if I had a business operating heavy equipment, I would want to have some expert to come every so often and make sure that none of our operators were under the influence of, of any substance that could cause harm to their partners or to themselves. Um, that would be my responsibility as the business owner to make sure that my folks were, were safe. And so I would certainly hire an expert to come in and say, hey, um, here's, here's how we'll do this. It, maybe administer the program. Maybe just teach me to. Free market would come up with a solution. So, yeah, that, that would exist also. But would there, would there be a job for somebody who is really good at going to the interstate and watching cars drive by and picking out which one probably had a bunch of marijuana in the trunk? I don't think that job would exist. So that cop job, I would say there's no... There's no real good excuse for having that. If it wouldn't exist in a free market, it'd probably be best for us as human beings to choose something else to do. And I think about this because I consider if I wasn't semi-retired and a business owner and you know never want to work for another person ever again, but if I was going to do that, one of the jobs I would enjoy would be maybe being a game warden, um, going out and just riding around in the hills on... ATVs and snow machines and uh, pickup trucks and on horseback looking for people who are going out and blasting away critters. Now, I know that that's not all that game wardens do, and I know that they enforce petty little junk. But I think about if, a, if there's a huge landowner, King Ranch in Texas or something, I'm sure that King Ranch has somebody that goes out or a number of people who go out and make sure nobody's poaching, killing animals there. So in a free market, that that job would exist. I'm sure that King Rancher or other big properties need to know, hey, how how much uh, grazing uh, is there? Uh, like, is there enough to su support a herd of 300 elk or 200 deer? And, and this is how many, like a king game management. I, I think that would be a, a legitimate function in a free society. Now, this is not, I'm not addressing in any way whether or not it's okay to accept stolen money for something. It isn't. The school teacher is responsible for accepting stolen money. So is the school janitor uh, for, for doing their respective jobs. Um, they're accepting stolen money. Anything the government pays is stolen, and therefore it's, it's wrong. It's bad. It's, it's ill-gotten loot, and we shouldn't, we shouldn't do that. What do you think? What jobs do you think would not exist in a free market society, if we had our ideal society where free of violence uh, or of, of organized initiated violence, um, what, what would it look like? What other jobs would be absolutely obsolete? Let me know in the comments.